Black Friday and Small Business Saturday and Cyber Monday and all kinds of crazy deals weekend haul. This really should be called look at all the money I didn't need to spend but I did anyway. But I'm super excited. I feel like I got some great pieces and I cannot wait to show them with you. Or share them with you, excuse me, show them to you. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and get started so I don't blabber on for 20 minutes. So the first place that I was online at 10 p.m. Eastern Time when they opened was Oh Yeah Apparel because they were doing the best sale that they have done all year. They were doing buy one, get one free. And because most of my Disney tees are Oh Yeah Apparel and Grey Stuff & Co, I knew that I had to pick up more at buy one, get one free. How could you not? So getting into this super fun, festive green bag, we're going to pull out the first three here. And I kept them in the bag and I've been looking at them for the first time and I'm so excited. The first one that I got is this Snack Goals. So it is a white tee, black print, very simple, but I thought would be super fun to wear with very colorful bottoms. Or I actually have a pair of black and white gingham leggings from Uniqlo that would make a really fun monochromatic look as well. So I just love this one. The other one that I knew I had to get because I'm such a millennial pink girl was the Believe in Magic and it is the millennial pink tee with the beautiful rose gold print and I just don't think this shirt could be any more perfect for me if it tried. So super happy with that. Of course this is another one that I had been eyeing on their website for a very long time as Rapunzel is my favorite princess and this one says go live your dream beautiful royal purple tea with her sun emblem right on the front. It is stunning. I loved it and needed it. <laughs> and then the last three that I'm pulling out, I didn't realize I actually got three purple t-shirts. This next one is their Halloween one that says no tricks here on the front, just treats here on the back in the white and orange print. It is super fun and I like that they did a print on the back because I feel like in general graphic tees the graphic or the print is right on the front. So this is kind of fun and unexpected. You do have a little bit there but the majority of it is on the back. So love that. The other purple tee that I got that goes with Halloween as well is the purple Believe in Magic. I am not, did not realize until just now. <laughs> that I got the same shirt in two different colors, but I must really believe in magic. So I just don't think that that's a bad thing. I love that. And I especially love that the eye has the stars. It looks like the stars emoji to me. I actually use that one a lot. So I love that. And then the very last one of this crazy t-shirt haul, I already have the Princess Academy and the Explorer Academy. So I figured I might as well round out my collection and get the Lagoon Academy. Hey, there's a sticker! <laughs> um, and I actually have a purple seashell tattoo on my ankle. So that actually looks very much like this one. It's not colored in, but it's outlined in purple. Um, so I thought that that was really sweet as well. So for six t-shirts, of course they always come with their postcard which by the way is way cute and could totally be used um, for scrapbooking or you know whatever you want to use it for but there's their information but for the six t-shirts I spent $75 which comes out around you know like 11 or so dollars a shirt which is unheard of not only for Disney prices but for small shop because as much as I love supporting small shops I find a lot of times their prices are equal to sometimes even more than Disney park prices because as an annual pass holder I get 20% off and I'm a frequent visitor of the outlets so typically I can get Disney merch for relatively cheap so sometimes it's hard for me to justify even though I know it's supporting a small business um, those higher price tags for some of those really customizable things. So I just knew I had to go whole hog on that sale and I absolutely did and I have no regrets. I'm super excited, but I'm going to stop talking because we're going to get into the next thing 
our next um, place that I shopped, which was Kohl's. Okay, so for Kohl's, nothing that I got was over $25, which again is just crazy. Um, I had not purchased a lot of Lauren Conrad stuff recently. She has been like my ride or die as far as fashion inspiration since I was in high school. I have loved her line. I have shown, I think, um, years old Lauren Conrad hauls here on this channel. If I can find some throwback videos, I'll link them down below because that would be pretty funny to watch. Um, but absolutely, she, I just love her stuff. Everything that she comes out with. Recently though, um, because there's not a Kohl's close to me, the closest Kohl's is probably 30 minutes away, which isn't awful, but definitely the place that is close and I spend the most money is Target. Um, I just went online and she released a weekend collection, which is all loungewear, and I am so into that for winter. I am all about wearing a spirit jersey from Disney, just big and oversized, or just weekend comfortable clothes on the weekends. And when I saw that collection, I placed an order because I couldn't help myself. But not from that collection because this was on sale for $20 and I could not say no is this beautiful holiday dress. It is this stunning, almost kind of like an aqua color and it has a gold threading throughout the fabric. It does tie at the back and it does have a tie around the waist along with a cinch. And this was retailed at $50 and I paid 20, as I said. So $20 for a dress for work, I think is unbeatable. So pretty. I love this one. My husband, Abel, said I look like Queenie in this dress from Fantastic Beasts, so I'm not mad at that. The next thing <laughs> I got from Now The Weekend Collection was this set. So to start, I got these pants. These again retailed for $40. I paid, I think, like $16 or something. They are in this peach color. It's almost like a gaucho style pant where it is cinched in at the waist, but then flares out at the leg. So super comfortable again for weekend but I also think for traveling this is going to be a prime thing to be in because you're going to be sitting on a plane or in a car and I just cannot say enough great things about that and to go with that I did get this top again I think this tee I think I paid like $13 for it I'll have all the prices um you know coming up in a caption right here and it was originally 30 but I did not pay 30. It is just a white tee. It's got the ruffle sleeves and a ruffle hem at the bottom, but I love the peach thread embroidered heart there on the left side of the chest. I think that that is just really sweet and matches perfectly with those pants. So I am in love with this set. Here's the um, close up on the embroidered heart. I think it's really sweet and it matches the pants really well, I think. My opinion. Here it is. I think you can see my underwear line, so ignore that. <laughs> Dark. <laughs> Next thing that I got is this crazy town. <laughs> this huge puffy sweater. I love this. Again, this was mm, fifty dollars retail. I'll have what I paid showing here. I think it was around twenty-five. Um, but it is this beautiful peach color with these huge white polka dots. And then I think these are called trumpet sleeves. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. It just extends out, but then it does have a cuff. So it doesn't completely take over your hand, which is really nice. Um, sometimes these bigger oversized things can really swallow me because I am 5'2". So I'm pretty petite, but I like that because with details like the cuff, it does still kind of control it, even though it is meant to be oversized. So, love that. This is the pink sweater. This is kind of what I was talking about where it has the cuffs. So, even though it has definitely room, it doesn't kind of swallow your hand, which I really appreciate. And it is a little bit cropped, um, but definitely these are just uh, hip jeans and it still completely covers. So, I love this one. And then the last thing that I got was this sweater. Again, this was supposed to be, this is actually labeled as Pink Marled, M-A-R-L-D. 
Um, I would not describe this as pink. This is definitely, I mean, I guess it's pink. To me, it kind of looks like oatmeal, um, but it's beautiful, and it's beautiful on. It's a nice, thick knit, as you can see. These are a little bit more of a flare sleeve, but it doesn't overtake my hand. And just, again, with some really nice dress pants for work, or with some jeans and cute boots for the weekend. I think that this is perfect. Here's the not pink sweater. I don't think this is pink. I still think it's like an oatmeal color. The sleeves are a little short, which I'm now noticing on, but I still really like it. I think it's really pretty um, with some like pretty layered necklaces. I think this would look really nice for work. Now, when I placed that order, I did get some Kohl's cash back, so my mom and I actually went back to the store because we chose some children's names off of a tree, and we are creating um, or doing a give back for those kids, and I'm actually going to do a whole separate video talking about that because it's something that's really important to me and something I'm really wanting to share because I think it is important in this season of giving to, of course treat yourself but also help others in need if you have the ability to do so so i'm going to talk about that in a whole nother video but when we went back i did spend my kohl's cash on this again it is from her weekend uh collection and you guys know i love a tracksuit. i'm wearing one right now which is so like early 2000s but that's fine so it is this velour, it's labeled as wine, which is definitely how I would describe it. It's kind of like a ruby color with these beautiful satin uh, strings to cinch in around your waist. Again, it has a cuff at the bottom so it doesn't pool around your feet. It gathers it right at your ankle. This was originally 40, but again, I'll have the price I paid here on the screen because I did not pay 40, I think that they were on like 30% discount or something um, and here's the top so again kind of same thing it has the satin tie around your waist so you can actually cinch it pretty tight to make it a crop if you want or you can just have it more loose kind of how it's laying now and this again was retailed at 40 but I did not pay that I was just telling my mom if I don't find matching family Christmas pajamas which has proven to be very difficult um, I might wear this on Christmas because it is a beautiful wine, winter Christmas color, and it is just so soft. I love this weekend collection. I want one of all of it. So that is all of my clothes from Kohl's. And the last thing that I got was an order from Tone It Up, which I haven't done in a while, so I'm super excited to show you that. All right, so the last thing, as I said, was from Kohl's, not Kohl's, I just showed you Kohl's from Tone It Up. And the last order that I placed with Tone It Up was their, I think, Beach Bay Bundle, if not this past summer, but the summer before. And I only purchased that because I was need in need of some of the equipment, like the um, elastic bands and the discs for the floor work and things like that. Um, so typically, I love their apparel, and I have a lot of my wardrobe is athletic wear or lounge wear and then of course I have a section for business clothes and for my work as a teacher but um, you know it's toned it up like athletic boutique apparel so it can get pretty pricey but again with Black Friday I just couldn't withhold myself so the thing that actually caught my eye and had me even buying anything is this jacket so again they released this rose gold bomber jacket I want to say not last summer but the summer before and it was originally like 50 or 60 dollars and as much as I loved it I live in Florida so a jacket is not always something that I can wear year-round so I didn't think that that was a smart investment I waited I waited I'm so glad I did because for Black Friday they had this on sale for $25 and I thought even if I wear it a couple of times a year $25 is such a steal it is stunning. You can see it's satin. It's rose gold. It's so cute. But what I love too on the back is the tone it up emblem with the palm trees. So I thought that this would be super cute either tied around your waist if you're wanting to style it that way or just wearing it around how it's supposed to be worn as a jacket. I 
really, really liked this and I'm very proud of myself for waiting and getting it 50% off. So super, super excited about that. Sun up jacket. Oh, it's so cute. Look at the back. I feel like a pink lady from Greece. Yep. Just don't they have the pink bomber jackets? Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're in love with it. Come here, Eli. Do you like it? No. <laughs> what are you doing, Eli? Thank you. Dude. He's watching me try on clothes, the crazy boy. Oh, yeah, God, he's helping. My camera's dropped. He's helping. Very nice. <laughs> I love it. Then, of course, while I was on the website, I had to look at all of the rest of the apparel that they had. And I found this little crop tee that just says, Tone It Up Team. The T-I-U is in rose gold as well. And it's set on a gray crop. So this is perfect to throw over any sports bra and leggings outfit, um, either before or after the gym, a run, whatever. I think this was maybe 20. So super fun. Love that. So this one's a little more cropped than I thought, but still super cute and with a sports bra. Um, you know, I think it's cute. That's the height from the back. And it says, um, turn it up here mm -hmm. on the top. So, kind of cute. And then the last thing that I got from them was this. Again, I'm really liking this style um, with the drawstring at the bottom. So this is a beautiful, like kind of blue lagoon color. And it just says tone it up here and the top left, which is really subtle, definitely a lot more subtle than the tone it up <laughs> uh, rose gold bomber jacket. But again, I thought it would be perfect for this time of year for, um, you know, a workout outside or after a run if we are which walking around the resort. Um, I'm seeing the sun come out, so if the lighting is changing, I'm sorry about that. I do film with natural light. Um, but anyway, I just thought this was a perfect throw over. This was, I think, on sale, but I did not get as good of a deal on this as the other two pieces. I think I still ended up paying around 40 something. Again, I'll have it here. Um, but I wanted it, so I put it in my cart. Blue sweatshirt. Again, more crop than I realized it was going to be. Um, but still super cute over workout top, leggings lounging, whatever you want to do. After the beach. After the beach. I don't think the back has anything on it. No, no. it doesn't. So super cute. I love um, it. The last thing I wanted to say is when you placed an order, you did receive a surprise item. And that is the Tone It Up protein bars. At least that's what I got. This is in the blueberry coconut. And I'm super excited because I know they sell these at Target, but I just haven't bought them for what reason I don't know. Um, but I'm really excited because I'm wanting to incorporate more of the shakes and the protein milks and the protein bars as my snacks throughout the day to, one, just keep me from eating snacks I shouldn't be eating um, on a regular basis. Obviously, of course, again, treat yourself, have a balance, but just in general, I don't need to have chips for every snack for every day. So mixing it up for myself. I'm going to try these and let you guys know how I like them. I'm sure they're delicious. It does have 10 grams of protein and 160 calories per bar if you're curious, which is great. And it's also non-GMO and gluten-free. So definitely um, all-encompassing for people's dietary needs in that way. So that is everything. This is like truly a ridiculous amount of stuff that I need to go put in my closet. Um, but I'm so grateful. I am in a point right now where I'm really happy with my job. My mom got her job this year and she's really happy at her job. Abel is doing great at the science center where he works. Um, and we have our puppy Eli. I just feel like things are going wonderfully and I am just so grateful and I know that it is not Thanksgiving anymore but I think it's just important to practice thankfulness every day of the year not just Thanksgiving and I'm also really thankful to you guys. I know that the 2,000 of you that are here with me watching my videos and liking and commenting it really does mean a lot and there are definitely times where I can um, you know, compare myself to other YouTubers and their success and I just have to sit back and think, I don't even know 
a hundred people, let alone 2,000 people. So I shouldn't be comparing myself. I should be thanking you again and again for sticking around with me and joining me on my Disney adventures and these crazy shopping <laughs> trips that I allow myself to take. Um, but I, I do. I really appreciate it and I'm very happy and it is, it's great. I just love it and I love you guys. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you aren't already so you can be a part of that 2000 subscriber family and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!